Hello and welcome to PCI Tech TV. This is Kevin from PCI and today I want to show you a quick demonstration on extracting digital elevation models from radar imagery. Uh, this is not uh, something that is done uh, uh, typically. Uh, the, the quality of the DM that can be achieved is, a, is, is, is maybe not as good as high resolution optical imagery or high resolution aerial photos. However, in some cases it's not possible to get optical imagery and so radar imagery can still be used to generate elevation models a little bit lower quality but still uh, that is possible within our software. The number one thing with uh, radar imagery and generating stereo is we have to keep in mind that radar imagery is an active sensor meaning the uh, information that is being uh, collected to form an image is formed by radar energy and so that radar energy is sent from the spacecraft or from the uh, airborne uh, uh, SAR uh, radar antenna to the ground and then uh, uh, echoes of the pulses that are being sent down are being received and we do have geometric uh, effects on, the, on those pulses that are being received depending on the terrain. Here we see some of those effects. We have some layover. These mountains are uh, leaning over. We also have some foreshortening or some compression of the mountains, uh, and we also see some shadow on the on the backs of the uh, of the mountain tops. And so, uh, matching two images together is going to be a little bit more challenging with radar imagery than optical imagery because of these uh, artifacts that are present in the data. So, selecting radar imagery for stereo. Uh, radar grammetry uh, is very important to have two passes that are uh, different viewing geometry but from the same alignment, the same orbit. So here we have two passes that are collected from, it looks like a descending pass, so the satellite is, is traveling from uh, the north down to the south and it's uh, imaging out to the right, which is uh, causing our uh, mountains to lean towards the sensor. And if I turn the second image on, you see that we have the same thing, but there's a slight uh, difference in viewing geometry, which is going to allow us to generate epipolar pairs and extract elevation points using correlation techniques. If I quickly load up the data in an RGB view, you'll see that this data is actually suitable uh, for stereo uh, model extraction. So I'll just quickly load the, this, this is a wide 2 and a standard 7 pair over uh, the Vancouver region in Canada. So if I zoom out here and I go back into uh, the overlap portion of this uh, data set, you can see that we have some nice uh, parallax in the uh, imagery because of the slightly different viewing geometry from a wide 2 to a standard 7. Uh, Y2 and standard 7 are, are similar resolution. They're about uh, 25 meters, I believe. Um, and so we can, we can match these two images together to create an elevation model. Uh, I just want to show you an example of a data set that is not suitable. So here we have an example of two data sets that are overlapping, but they are not suitable for radar grammetry or stereo DEM extraction. The reason for that is they're collecting from uh, different orbit geometry. So one orbit is descending and one orbit is ascending. Uh, this looks to be like the uh, the descending pass. Terras RX also collects it with uh, looking to the right. So you can see here that we have some shadow on the back of some of the uh, uh, the gentle terrain here and a little bit of foreshortening on on these hills. And the opposite is the is the case for this pass where we have our our mountains uh, on the shadow on the back and, and so matching these two images is going to be extremely difficult actually impossible uh, using our, uh, using the st stereo radar grammetric techniques. So this data set is not suitable uh, we need to have data that is collected in the same uh, viewing geometry as I mentioned um, with uh, with a little bit of uh, difference in terms of innocence angles. And there are papers that you can read and uh, guidelines for selecting optimal uh, in incidence angles based on the type of terrain that you're trying to extract an elevation model from. And uh, we'll include some links in the uh, bottom of this uh, video for you to go and read those. That's just a quick introduction on the concept of using radar imagery for uh, stereo DEM extraction. The next part is going to be a deep dive on generating the stereo DEM from this data set which is freely available on MDA's website. So make sure you follow the links below 
and uh, watch the uh, detailed demonstration coming up.